Okay, everyone. So, going to come back with a simple video. Just going to do some fridge magnets because I need to make some. I run low on fridge magnets and I love using this mold for them. You do have to use two molds at the same time, otherwise, the weight of the resin pushes down on this bit, the bottom bit, and creates like a little flat surface and it kind of just ruins them a little bit. So anyway, let's put that over there just to stop any bits and bods from getting in there for now. I'm going to be using the Art Pro Deluxe by Resin Art. Um, it's a high viscosity resin. It's 100 parts A to 700 parts B. So basically say 10 grams part A, 7 grams part B. Uh, it, part A is really, really thick. So at the moment it's sat outside in the sun to thin it out a little bit. So it's easier to uh, mix. I'll also be using mixed in with the resin because I'm going to do like galaxy effects. So this is a homemade alcohol ink using eyeshadow powders. You can see the different colors there, hopefully. And also this stunning pigment eyeshadow, which is basically like little glittery stars. You can see it, I see it very well, I don't know. You can just about see it on the outside there. Anyway, so I'll be using that in the resin. I'll only be adding one or two drips. I don't want too much. If you add too much, you don't see the, uh, the effect from using the uh, sinker and that, the, the Petri dish effect. I'm going to be using Let's Resin from the big bottle but I've added a little bit of pearlescent mica powder to it because it's got like a bit of a gold shimmer to it so I'll be using that on one side and then the normal let's resin from the box set because I bought myself a new box set because some of them I, I've had them out for over a year and I did a test the other day and it just didn't seem to be doing the right thing I don't know why so the colors I'll be using is turquoise blue purplish red i've got the yellow just in case i need to fill any holes it always comes in handy midnight blue purple slurper purple and the cerulean i think that's how you pronounce it Cer cerulean so i'll be using those colors and like i said the Let's resin sinker on this side and let's resin sinker with a little bit of pearlescent on this side. So I'll be single dripping the white on this side and I'll be double dripping on this side because these cavities are quite big. And I found with the sinker, if you don't, because it's such a big, I'll be adding 28 grams into each one, roughly. What happens is instead of it sinking, it just kind of pushes out. So... We'll see how we get on. Um, I'm going to go and mix the resin up and I shall be back. Okay, we're back. So, as you can see, I've poured the resin. I added my homemade sparkle juice, as I call it. I ended up adding 10 drops of this. Didn't go as far as I thought it would. And then, oh, this lid keeps coming off. I added a little bit of the marabou um liquid diamond what well, it's called diamond sparkle i love this stuff you can see it on my gloves it's just great stuff but a little goes a long way i actually used it there was only a little bit left and it was so concentrated i half filled it with alcohol and still one or two drips go a long long way okay so let's do some dripping so let's go midnight blue and do midnight blue on this side try and keep and then the purple you still see there's some little air bubbles but i'm not worried about them because they'll just come up and get blitz 
by the arc link. You can see a little goes a long way sometimes. And this I'm dropping now is a ceruleum. So that's that one. So now what we'll do is we'll take I can still see a little bit more there, so if you guys can see that, but there is some holes. So I just added a little bit more midnight blue. There we go. That do. So on this side, we'll be doing the Let's Resin normal white sinker on it. So make sure you give this stuff a good shake, guys. You can hear like a ball bearing shaking. They do not come with ball bearings. I've got some little tiny ball bearings, and I just popped one or two in each one. Well, in sinkers. And then we just one. Just see how they dance before we think about adding double dripping. Yeah, I'm gonna double drip literally. Leave that there so we know that's that side. Now this is the Letch resin from the big bottle white sinker with a very, very small amount of um, pearlescent, well, white pearl mica powder by Texperts. And I think we're just going to do a one layer of this stuff because it's going to be a bit heavier. You may just be able to see there's like a gold effect coming off of it. See how it reacts. If you've done Petri dish, you'll know, look, like, see the way this one's looking. You know that sinker is starting to do the work. This one may have sunk a bit too much. I'm not 100% sure there. So I should play caution. See how it goes over the next few minutes. Right, so for these middle ones. Got the purplish red. I can see this, this mould is... Like virtually impossible to make sure it's dead level for each one because of the way it sits sometimes. It could, it could do with like extra ribs. They are originally cake moulds so you know you can't expect too much. That looks better. So we'll go one, two, three. One, two, three. Keep it to one side a minute. And the green, uh, turquoise, I'm going to go for the other side. Don't really want the green and the red hitting each other. And then just the blue in the middle. Because the blue it's the green or the red, it's just going to create purples and greeny blues. If that makes sense. I think with the red, we shall go another couple of drips, just so they push out a bit more. This one looks lovely. This one, I'm still not sure what's going on. If it might need more or less. Also, I've got a little tiny bit of resin left over, so I thought I'd do that. Add in a little bit of resin at the end. Seems to create some amazing effects. So what should we do with the next one? Let's go back to the midnight blue. And we'll just go one, one. Then the other blue, just blue. One, two, one, two. And then the Cerulean, I have a couple of them over here. Then the Turquoise. A 
a little bit of the purple and we'll whack some lids back on a minute so they don't evaporate those I'm messing about sorry about my arm and everything trying to uh, do you see the amount of time it all takes it's not easy And then we'll use just a normal yellow and we'll fill up all these little holes. It's not going to be very galactic, it'll be more nebula. Oops, sorry, I'm shouting, aren't I? Sorry about that, guys. I forget I've got a new little microphone gadget and it's right in front of my face. <laughs> sorry. Okay. So, so, keep that on that side so I know where I am. We'll go with the wool, normal white sinker and we'll go around the clock. See the way it pushes out rather than just sink straight away. I think that's enough. That one. Then our pearlescent straight letch resin sinker. Definitely the, the sink you get in the bigger bottle is less dense. You can clearly see that, so I'm just going to add a bit more on this. And I'm going to go back. Give that one an extra dose. See, that's what, that's what I wanted to see with this one, but it didn't... I don't know what's going on with this one. Who knows? Right. In with this one, go backwards around the clock, ooh, there's a little eruption there. Feeling we might get some really crazy patterns in these. Let's hope so. Also, the drips out of these needle bottles are a lot smaller. Gonna really go for it in that one and see what we get. And you know, just for the experimental wise. So that's on that one. This one, I'm just going to give it a couple more. Now, well, this resin started to thicken up already. So I just get a bit. What I'm doing is I'm just literally twirling it on there so I get like a nugget on the end. See what I mean? Wait for it to start to run, and then I'm going to go, which ones? Let's go for the middle ones. Oh, that's a bit of a big blob there. I might bugger that one up. Who knows? It might create something different. Totally different to what everyone else has been doing. 
as always guys if you like the video hit the follow button hit the like make a comment share as always check out daniel cooper mini scenes uh naptime creations um steve mcdonald all these people will help you learn about resin so you don't have to spend loads of money on resin and not get what you want um do you know i'm going to do these two with this method and just see how it comes out i don't i've got no idea how it's supposed to work i guess this resin is supposed to sink down a bit more mix with the inks I don't understand the science of this bit, but if we play with it, we'll find out. Now, it's definitely a better thing to do is to get it to drip over your container and then quickly switch to your piece. I'll show you. So, get your resin on there like that. Let it start falling so it's drizzling and then go over. Yeah, you got more control then. Right. So, we'll leave that now. Going to wait just 20 minutes or so. Um, let's see where we are on the stopwatch. Oh, my God. I've got resin on my glove. Now, my watch is dying. Right, so, Alexa, set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Okay, guys, I'll see you in 20 minutes for the stir. Okay, so I have been testing it. Oh, sorry. I knocked my camera stand and it wobbles like hell. One of those big arm jobs. All right, let it calm down a sec. Right. So I've been checking it really carefully by simply just going in in the middle because this resin seems to start going hard in the middle it's okay at the moment but yeah we got the right consistency so we can start stirring so I have got these little makeup brushes and I've got one where I've took the brush bit off but I like creating that sort of swirly effect which is done with this tool it doesn't scratch so let's do it so we're gonna go around oh yeah we definitely got the right consistency you can see it holding on and I'm going in not very deep not touching But what I like to do with the middle with these is to pull up, push down, and then swirl, come up, and then jiggle, because it doesn't want to let go. And there we get That will naturally just settle back down now. Give it the same on this one. up back down bit of a swirl and then try and push that blob in the middle back down into the middle if you get what I mean and there we go right so let's just see what this tool does see if it does it any different Only going in about half oh, half a centimeter. Obviously, it's less tension. You can feel it. And then back in again for a deep swirl for the middle. 
and then you can see what I'm doing. I'm twiddling it as I come up. There we go. Always clean your tool in between stirring, otherwise you're going to make a mess. Trust me, it does. I think I prefer this tool than my other. Oh yeah, I can definitely feel that resin is starting to stiffen in the middle. It feels like fudge just there. So I'm going to push really deep down on this one. And I'm going to come outwards. Well, that looked different. Should we do that anyway? I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go in about half a centimetre. Go around the edge quickly. And into the middle where it's fudgy. And then we'll twirl that deeper. Out towards the edge. In. And this one. Let's have a bit of fun shall we. We just pull that over a bit. Jiggle it so they're kind of level again. Going to go rogue. I'm going to go left handed. And I'm going to go down in the middle. Almost all the way to the bottom. Stir that fudge. Slowly pulling it upwards. <clears throat> and right to the edge. So guys. That is it. I'm going to leave these now. They will be left. It's, it's about 7 o'clock now. Half 6, 7. So I shall leave them. I shall leave my sinkers here so I know which one's which. Put the old uh, cake cover on. And I'll see you guys tomorrow when they're fully set up and ready to be popped out. And we shall see them all together at the same time. See you guys tomorrow. Okay, so let's see what we got. Let's put the old uh, cake cover away a minute. So, remember these are the Letch Resin Sinker. These are the Letch Resin Sinker plus a little bit of the pearl white uh Texperts mica powder in there so uh i don't know where should we start start in the middle so let's resin oh wow and that's the ones i did like the deeper swirls don't know if you guys let me look so I can see what you can see on the look at that that glittery stuff I put in there it definitely looks like little stars that is absolutely gorgeous sorry about the ring light and the other light there you go. I cut the light out completely. You can't really see properly, but... Look at that. That is definitely stellar blue. I like that one. Right. Can we improve on that? So this... Oh with the extra sinker <laughs> oh wow you can see 
where that pearlescent, the, the gold, that sparkle, look at it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, 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 wow. That has definitely got to be Like, then if you, you can't quite see what I'll do is it at the end I'll I'll try and do some macro. I've got a macro lens for my phone. These are going to be some lovely little fridge magnets. So I put them. So you can see them still down there. Um. Also, I did, that's the ones where I poured the extra bit of resin at the end. Not that you can see it's done much. So, this one. Okay. I mean. It is beautiful. That's the one where I back swirled. I did with both of these. I, this one I back swirled as well. And I went that a little bit deeper to get those real crazy effects so sometimes having a little bit of courage and playing I, you know it's not my favorite but I do like it and I'm not unhappy with these at the moment this one I really really back swirled in all sorts Oh, it's a bit dark, but you, you can't really see on the camera as well as I can see that, I mean, there is some serious depth to it, and that gold from the white mica that I added to the Let's Resin white sinker. I said only a small amount, and I'm, when I say small amount, I mean mercury 0.1 of a gram. I used, if I can find if it's to the hand, it should be. I used this spoon, but what I did is I literally just dipped that tip in, got a little bit on the end, and chucked that into the uh, pot. With the alcohol and the sinker this one I know it's a bit dark but it's one of my favorites so far that gold really why wow. okay so let me turn that around a minute so I can bring everything down so you can see them all so this one I'm gonna leave till last this one in here so this one is with the gold again turn that around again it's just beautiful that little bit of bling from the marabou arco diamonds and that little bit of gold shimmer to it they are prop. That is really stellar. If it weren't for the lights, I wish I could just. Problem is, when you cut the light out, you can't really see. But that is like a galaxy, a scoop of a galaxy in resin. It's just beautiful. I know it looks a bit sparkly under the camera, but it's not as sparkly when you look at it. It's the light catcher. Oh my god, the the details are amazing. Focus. You see what I mean? It's just. Why? Okay, so I think this one's going to be the most disappointing now. <laughs> Without that gold shimmer, it's just going to be 
much like this one, but we'll see. Oh, wow. So that one has got the most feathering. Look at that feather. See all this? That is beautiful on its own. It's not so much of a galaxy thing. But that feathering is really detailed. So it goes to show you get more feathering from the original alcohol inks you get with the kit, the 26 ink kit by Let's Resin, than you do from the refill bottles, the, the, the two 100ml bottles of the sinker. It's, I mean. Yes, I've added a little bit extra to this, but you don't get that. Look at the feathering, it's nowhere near as detailed. That's definitely my favourite. Not so much stellar, just stunning. I think for stellar wise, it still has to be. Oh, God. I think this one, you know, I, I do like this one, even though it's greeny. It's that gold shimmer to it. It's just beautiful. Okay, guys. So, again, hit that follow, like button, etc. Um, I should be cleaning that mould up. Let's bring them all back in. So you can see them all. muddle them up a little bit this one i mean even though it's got all the different colors oh, i don't know if i like that one more no i think the the, the favorite one is my blue one i i knew that was going to be my favorite because oh i can't pick it up because of that feathering look at it it's just so detailed. Whereas this one's more of the shimmer from the gold, from the pearlescent pigment, texture it's pigment powders. Okay, so, a little spoiler the thing I'll be doing in the future is I got some of this spider gel for, thing, for nails. Um, I've got a white. I've got a silver, got a black, and I've got a gold. This stuff is crazy stuff. I had a little play earlier on. As you can see, it's like crazy stuff. That'll be coming soon. So anyway, that's going to be it for now with this video. So, yeah, if you think it's too long, go up there to the cog. Click on that, click on playback, click on times two and it'll play it back twice as fast so you can watch the whole video and slow it down for the bits you really want to see. And uh, I shall see you in the next video guys. Thank you for watching, I appreciate all of you so much. Yeah, every little person, every person counts, every watch counts, and I shall be back soon with another video, thank you. Excuse the zoom. Just trying to get the best. Pictures I can so you can see the details. Because it's crazy.
storm the teacup that one that one is just beautiful they're all beautiful these with the gold shimmer are amazing But that one is the first one that I I said like I like the most, which is just the normal white. It is just astounding. It's just beautiful. They're all beautiful in the room each way, and I popped three little magnets on the back with a bit of UV glue, left them out in the sun. And they are solid. They will make nice little fridge magnets. I mean, come on, that is just amazing. The feathering. This one has got the feathering with the gold camera don't do it justice oh you can just see it there look in this bit that's another I mean come on it's just beautiful there's a tractor coming past we do live on a farm a working farm we have sheep cows myself and my partner we have ducks and chickens Look at that. even with those little bubble those few bubbles in there they almost look like they're supposed to be there and this one is definitely a galaxy swirl So I'm going to be doing another video on this, playing with different colours, maybe some similar colours, because I just love these. I, I, I love doing the Petri dish effect, getting that feather in and the Petri effect. I think we'll finish with that one, or should we finish with that one? That's my favourite. This one's close second, I mean. Just phenomenal. Stuff you can create with resin. Okay guys, see you in the next one.